As of this afternoon, we have an early preview of our new image generation backed summary. So if you guys want to start playing with it, you can try it out now. You'll go into templates inside of the dashboard, add template, summary template. And up here on the right where it says summary style, we're going to pick image. When you do this, it's going to put a base image description in here. We do not have a UI for this yet. So it's just the JSON uh, that you'd have to modify for now. But this is what determines file size, what the background color is going to be, um, how big your calendar grid is going to be, the styling within that, font sizes, all of those items. As you change that layout, you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this preview window down here. Uh, I can start changing settings in this upper half and we'll see a image preview regenerate here on the bottom. So if I change this width from 2000 to 3000, my image regenerates. So now I've got more width. If there's an error that comes back at this point, you will see, like if I delete this comma, you'll see an error up here saying that there's something wrong with your JSON. Uh, again, our end goal is to have a nice UI wrapped around this, but for the moment, this is the early preview. So you guys can play with this if you want to. Once I have a layout that I like, I'm going to go image and test and create a template and then pop over into my notifier under summaries, add a summary. I can pick template and there's my image gen test. Now, to go along with this, we added a new frequency. Instead of just daily, weekly, and rolling, there is now a monthly option. Pick monthly for this one. What it will do is it'll schedule the image to be sent on the first of the month at whatever time you specify. The key for doing monthly is it will include everything from the first of the month till the last day of the month. If you use weekly or daily, you're only going to see the events for the next week filled out on the calendar. And then that week will just shift as things go on. Done with that, I'll hit save. And I'll jump over into my Google Calendar. And you'll see over on the right, I have a new message. Open this up. There is my calendar laid out the way that the base is laid out um, with all of my events already in here. All of the items of the calendar, you know, for example, this Chronicle Bot test calendar that's in that JSON file, you can modify that. There's a QR code example of something up here on the upper right that you can link to and you can supply a URL inside that JSON, it'll do it. Everything that's in the boxes at the moment is from your calendar. So I'll click out of here for a second. If I come over and pick um, this 24 test here, you'll see here it's a blue 24 test. If I grab that event and we'll change it over to this red instead, save. And over in Discord, you should see the image regenerate. And now it's in red instead. Uh, if I take this 26 test, change it to live update test, save. You'll see the image regenerate over here. And on the 26th, there it is, live update test. So everything you do, just like a regular summary, you make your changes in your calendar, everything will come across. So I think that's about it. Uh, if you guys want to start playing with it, it's here and ready to start tinkering. Have fun.